Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Montague and I am one of the co-founders of Black Owned Hamilton. And we started this platform to celebrate, showcase, and explore Black-owned businesses in the greater Hamilton area. When we started, it was actually June 2nd on Blackout Tuesday in 2020. And my youngest sister, Abigail Montague, she woke up and was like, what does all of this mean? And this was shortly after uh, the death of George Floyd. And so people were coming together online in honor of his death and supporting Black Lives Matter. And so my middle sister, Alexandria Montague, said to Abigail, maybe there's a better way that we can encourage people to show their support to the black community. And so they started generating a list of businesses in the greater Hamilton area. That list grew to over 150 businesses. And then Abigail's like, wait, how are we gonna showcase this list if we're not on Instagram? And so we created the Instagram platform. And uh, since then, our mission has been to celebrate, showcase, and explore Black-owned businesses in the Hamilton area. That has now grown and evolved with the wonderful support we've received from the community, as well as funding from the government. So Investment Readiness Program allowed us to do a feasibility study where we learned and understood from the 105 businesses that participated where the help was needed. From that, we gained eight advisors on our advisory team. And uh, we since now, our focus is education, advocacy, and research. And so we are officially a registered nonprofit here in Canada and ready to roll. Black Owned is not a franchise. There are many similar organizations that have popped up around our region and across the country, I would say, in honor of supporting and showcasing Black Owned businesses. And we are here to work collaboratively with all of them. In fact, Black Owned 905, which is the St. Catherine version of Black Owned Hamilton, we collaborated on a big event in November of last year. Black owned supports the black owned businesses here in the greater Hamilton area in a numerous ways. Last year, we had the opportunity to work with the greater Hamilton community on a number of collaborations through hosting pop-up markets in our cities where we had vendors come out, DJs, food trucks, and the community come together to shop and support these black owned businesses. That idea grew into the concept of how can we do this virtually and in December, we tested the concept of a box where a corporate company organization ordered uh, from us a box filled with black owned vendors products. Specifically, one of the things that we did last year was to host a black owned market. We actually had a holiday series towards the end of the year where we featured three holiday markets in different regions across the greater Hamilton area. Here we featured um, over 50 plus unique businesses in these spaces where at one of the markets, numerous vendors sold out. In addition to that, we had feedback from the vendors that it brought new customers, that it brought engagement to their platforms and their websites, and that they were just so happy to have a moment to interact with customers, which we haven't been able to get you know, through the pandemic or as new businesses starting out. So this February, we are working with McMaster Innovation Park in order to bring forth a Black History Month box. And we have 10 vendors whose products will be featured in this box. In addition to that, we will be launching this March, March 5th, our first pilot program supporting black youth entrepreneurs here in the greater Hamilton area. I think in general, numerous businesses face that stumbling block of getting their business out there when they're in that startup phase. With black businesses in particular, that further engagement, it's, it's harder. And so with our platform, we're able to elevate these businesses, their products, their services. And that's what we do through posting on Instagram, through the markets that we host, and of course now through giving them the skills that they need to grow their businesses. Our Black Youth Entrepreneurship Hub, the acronym is pronounced BAE, <laughs> B-Y-E-H. We will be launching our new program, which we are actually working in collaboration with BBPA, so that's a Black 
Business Professional Association of Canada, as well as the Future Skills Centre and the Diversity Institute at Ryerson University to bring this curriculum together. Our program specifically through Bay is focused on entrepreneurs that are ages 18 to 39 because we feel that youth, it's not the age, but the stage of your business. And we wanna be able to help those businesses that have already started, but just need that help to grow to that scale up phase. So we did our research and we understood that there's so many wonderful startup programs here in Hamilton, so many wonderful scale up programs. But what happens to those business owners that just need that extra push to learn about marketing, to learn about supply chain management, uh, to learn how to put together a business model canvas that can turn into a business plan that they can take to the bank for additional funding and so on and so forth. So we're looking forward to bringing this uh, eight week uh, series, or I guess you would say program to life where we are hosting two hopefully in person or hybrid boot camp sessions. And then every Wednesday in between those boot camps, we will be hosting workshops that are open to the public and not just the cohort members. Another exciting thing that's happening this month is the Black History Month boxes that we are working in collaboration with the McMaster Innovation Park to put together. This box is featuring 10 vendors in the greater Hamilton area. The main box will be online for pre-order starting February 2nd. Early bird deals will be going on until February 13th and sales end February 18th. This is a pre-order period to allow us the time to get those wonderful boxes together for your pickup on February 25th and 28th. In addition to this main box, you will have a add-on which is self-love themed in honor of Valentine's Day. And then um, we'll have another add-on in honor of our youth. So supporting black youth businesses as well as items geared to youth in our community. So for example, a book that's taking you through Africa or uh, bath bombs that was created by a young business owner here. In our main boxes, we have features such as uh, cooking sauces, face soap, body butter. So we're really looking forward to what you guys will be having here. Value filled box, value filled box. <laughs> the way that you can engage with Black Owned currently is to join one of our social media platforms. We're featured on Facebook, BLK Owned Ham Aunt on Facebook and Instagram. We're currently developing our LinkedIn portfolio. So go ahead and follow and stay engaged there as well. As well as we're building out our website blackowned.ca, that's blkowned.ca. These are ways that you can stay up to date on different businesses that are here in our city in the greater Hamilton region and you can support through choosing to purchase Black Owned. Other ways that you can support Black Owned is by signing up to be a mentor. If you run a business or you have business knowledge through being, say, a teacher or professor at McMaster University <laughs> or other colleges and associations in town, um, we would love your support through mentorship for our young business owners. Other ways that you can get involved is through being a facilitator for one of our upcoming workshops. Also, we are looking for funding to support our initiatives, such as our markets, our boxes, and our programming that, that will be coming up this year. Hey all, we're here with Gugu from Oasis Within. How are you doing? I'm good, Abby, how are you? Good, can you tell us a little bit more about Oasis Within? Of course, so Oasis Within is a wellness and skincare line. And right now we sell body butters, body scrubs, as well as body oils, but it's more than just our products. We want to focus on self-care and self-love. So it creates a moment of relaxation where you get to pamper yourself. When you use our products, we want you to feel like you are taking time to be connected with your body, with your mind, with your spirit, which is why we have created a line of wellness. Oh, I love that. Very self-care oriented. That's right. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit more about your experience with Black Owned Hamon? 
Of course, um, I feel like without black owned Hamont, there wouldn't be Oasis within. And I continue to tell Ashley this all the time. She's one person who's pushed me to always um, put my product out there. And then uh, the market that I did um, in November, that was such a great experience. I got to meet new people, meet other small businesses, and it was just a really great time to showcase what I love and with my products. That's amazing and we're so happy that you've been able to have such a positive yeah, experience with Black really Owned. Good. And could you tell us a little bit more about the product on the table? Sure, this is our mini butters in two ounces. Our regular butters are eight ounces, but I wanted to showcase all of our samples. There are two samples missing, one of which is my favorite. The Calming Lavender is one of my favorites, but I wanted to give people a chance to try different scents within our line before committing to a larger bottle. And people love them. People have been coming back. It's sold out so quickly, so I'm excited to showcase more with this box. Thank you so much, Gugu, for joining us. And you can purchase this body butter in our Black-owned Black History Month box. We're here with Sakaya from Kai Kai Blast. How are you? I'm good. I just wanted to know a little bit more about your business and why you started. I kind of started my business because I like taking baths and I also like toys, so I just put them together. Oh, that's a really cool idea. When did you start this? I started a year ago when I was nine and now I'm 10. Oh, wow, you're 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a mini entrepreneur here on our hands. So in December, you joined us at our Christmas winter market with your mom and how did you enjoy that? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the candles. The I candles. still have some of them. Aww. I really like those. That's amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. You can check out Sakaya's products in our black owned Black History Month box. We're here with Noelle from El Noir. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing well. How long have you been in Hamilton and how long have you been in business? I grew up in Hamilton. I've been here since 1967 and uh, I've been in business in the area for 27 years. Today I brought one of our best selling products. These are called shower bombs. This is not something that you see very often. Um, they do exist a little bit in the industry, but it is basically the similar idea to a bath bomb. So it fizzes and bubbles and things like that but it's designed for shower users. So you put it on the floor next to the stream of your shower and you get the aromatherapy experience of a shower, of a bath bomb, but in the shower. This particular one is for when you've got a headache or a sinus congestion or something like that. We call it good for what ails you. Yeah. And um, so if you're just like feeling crappy and you gotta go to work, but you really need to like clear your headache or clear your sinuses, you can get a mentholated experience in the shower. And then we have the wake up angel. And uh, so for the morning shower people, the wake up angel is the best one. And then there's a lavender one for the night night shower people. Oh, got all the bases covered. <laughs> <laughs> so how has your connection with black owned benefited you? And yeah, just tell us a little bit more with your connection with black owned. The company name is Ellen Moore, which loosely translated in French is she's black. And so one of the things that we've brought to the Hamilton area is we have one of the only curly hair specific salons in our beauty store. And so Black Owned Hamilton has always been a great supporter and really helped push traffic to our social media and things like that to let the black community of Hamilton know that we exist. Because Dundas isn't the kind of place that you would normally find a curly hair salon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, we could have these shower bombs and our add-ons in Black Owned Black History Month box.